Hey, you, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're heading over to a car dealership because I want to get something new. I think the last car that we have purchased was the Audi R8. If you guys remember, we bought that uh, quite some time ago now, so time to spend some of my hard-earned cash. But before we do get over to the new location, guys, make sure you click a like on this video, guys. If you do enjoy these videos, you want to support my channel, guys, and what I do here, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new around here as well, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode now i guess technically i kind of lied a little bit because we did we did buy that um uh mustang celine that we still need to fix up so don't worry that is still happening um that's in the works so it, it's coming it's coming we're gonna fix her up it's gonna be great and also we did rent out that pagani from jim but we don't own that vehicle so that technically doesn't count but like kind you, you know so i guess you know in in a way maybe you know we have spent some money, but I haven't spent money on a car in some time, and we have a little bit of money. We have about uh, 700 k a little bit more than 700 actually, so yeah, we're going to head over there. We've got a little bit of a drive. We need to go to Stab City. That is the location, and uh, we'll see what the deal is. Ooh, I forgot how freaking... Gee, ooh. I forgot how wild this thing is and un un unhinged. This is why I don't drive the hot rod much, because it really isn't the easiest of things to drive. But it looks badass at the same time. So I want to get a new vehicle so we can add it to our car collection, guys. You seem to really enjoy my car collection video. You guys, ooh, that was a tight one. That's what your mom said. Really enjoyed the car video, guys, that I did with my car collection. And a lot of you guys wanted to see like a monthly kind of car updates and stuff like that. So that's something we can definitely do, guys. That's not a problem for me. Um, I guess we'll have to buy a lot of cars to keep it interesting or something. Maybe we can do it once every other month or once every month and a half or something we'll figure out some kind of formula for it so it's not super boring uh but the car collection it did grow since last time we did it i i looked back we had some really cool new cars and stuff like that i think i might sell a few of the older ones like i was saying like i think i'm gonna sell the um the lamborghini no the uh limousine bmw and there was a few others that i don't really use that i think we're gonna sell eventually so we're gonna sell some stuff but don't worry because we sell stuff we have money to buy new stuff so it's going to be pretty sweet. I'm not really sure what I'm looking to buy this time. Uh, we're just kind of... I'm going to go there, see what they have to offer. And I guess just get something that I like. Um, one thing I want to get a little bit more is... is uh, whoa, what the... Uh, what the hell just... Did I just get a... No. <sighs> really? How does this happen every single time? That's a joke, what? I want to get some more Ferraris, because I really don't have a lot of Ferraris at all. Maybe maybe something like that, or uh, a, a muscle car that isn't a Ford. I have a lot of Fords. Uh, I saw a comment that said, I'm a Ford guy, because I have a lot of Fords and stuff like that. And I was like, I guess, I can't even argue that. I had I, the, the car I'd make that I had the most was Fords in my car collection. And I was like, shit, I am a Ford guy. But I, I haven't actually gone on my way to buy Fords. It, it just kind of has happened. Uh, I think it's a lot of Mustangs, mainly. So we need to get something else. So I'm going to go to this dealership. Hopefully they can actually repair my vehicle. Look at this flat tire on the hot rod. Sheesh. Okay, we're going to have to brake here quite a bit because it's going to make this... T brakes, please. Non-existent. The brakes are non-existent. They're even worse now. I mean, the brakes on this thing are old anyway, but now with the flat tire, yeah, good luck. I'm finally here, though. This dealership, I haven't really been to a lot at all. This might be my least visited dealership, so, you know, it's, uh, it's nice we're here. So they're open. Come on, brake. Not a lot of breakage is this thing. It's, this thing's broken. Okay, there we go, geez. So we're here. Okay, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up here. Maybe they can help me. This thing, if we could move a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna park up here. Hello? Hey, did you guys close up? I saw you guys tweeted out that you're open, but maybe I'm too late. Um, might possibly be too late. Uh, oh, no worries if I am. It's all good. Hey, you still got any vehicles in the back? Yeah, I got a few in the back. If you just wanna give me a second. Sure. Right. Do you guys have a mechanic by any chance anywhere? Uh, yeah, I'm right here. Oh shit, can you come help me with something? Like, uh, I guess, uh, it's just outside. I had a flat tire. Maybe you can, uh, help me repair it or something. I can, I can... 
you know, give you some change. Change for your work. Yeah, I can get you a replacement tire. Yeah, I was just driving. I don't know if I hit a pothole or something. Uh, this old thing over here, you can see the front Ew. just... Just yoinked straight off, you know? Yeah. yeah, I should be able to fix it. That is great. That is great news. They have a Corvette out here. This is the... I like this. This is the last version of the Corvette, right? The ZR1 before the brand new one comes out. I like this, dude. I'm gonna miss this fr front engine Corvette, but I'm kind of looking forward to the rear Corvette. Rear engine Corvette. Jeez, I can't speak. But this is pretty clean. It's a bit dirty. This guy's been sending it through the mud. This is sweet. Maybe I need to get this, because I have a Corvette which is a little bit older. Instead of the ZR1, is the Z06. So maybe we need to upgrade our Corvette, because I do like this Corvette here. This is nice. I guess we'll chill for a little bit, wait for them to set up, and... Uh, yeah, wait for my tire to get fixed. Look at their setup over here for for some dyno runs. Damn, Daniel. Look at this. They got a real rig here. I need to bring some of my cars to get dynoed. Looks like they have some pretty cool setup here. They probably can get some really good power out of this. Yeah, this is really sweet. I might bring my, like, uh, like a drag vehicle here or something. Because I think I might be able to get some good juice out of it. It's pretty cool. I hear my vehicle rumbling. I think it might have replaced my tire, which is great. Oh, very nice, senor. Thank you for the fix. How much do I owe you? Uh, that'll just be 1K. 1K, all right. Expensive mother truck and tire, but, you know, I guess uh, a service is to be paid for. There you yeah, go, man. Thank Thanks. You. No problemo. I'll just park this outside out the way, so then I'll, I'll, I guess I'll come back up. We're going to park this down here, and then we'll just run back up. Here she is. Look at this little thing, eh? Fixed up. Got an Audi R S7, right? Nice. It's kind of sunk in the. There we go. Punched it back up. Nice. I need one of those, dude. Do let me have these, so we need one. Okay, let's go have a look. I think maybe the floor is ready now. Damn. All right, he's got a Porsche 918, a uh, Ford Raptor. And a uh, Tesla. Ooh. Those Ford Raptors sound really nice. I might get one of those. And he has the Tesla and the... Dude, this thing's sweet here. The Spider. The poor Spider. Damn. How much do you think this... This is quite expensive. I think this has got to be over like a million or something, which you don't have enough money unless we sell something, which you maybe might be able to... Hey, how's it going? That's going pretty good. How about yourself? Not bad. I'm just having a look what you got out here. What's the uh, what's the price tag of the nine eight and nine nineteen? Oh, it is one point two five million. One point two five. Okay, okay. One point two five. I see. You guys do trade-ins and stuff by any chance, right? Uh, yeah. You can trade in a vehicle plus cash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I might need to maybe do that. Let me. St and then uh. Hmm. This thing's pretty sweet though. What's the price on the Ford Raptor? Because this thing looks pretty mean as well. Oh, it is 59k. 59k, okay. I see you've done some modifications on it too, right? Has she got some aftermarket uh, suspension by any chance? or? Yeah, it's aftermarket suspension. And then uh, this also comes with uh, a spare wheel in the back. Some people like that, some people don't. Look at that. Ah, I it's see, I see, I see. Okay, this is pretty sweet. I might maybe go with this because... The 918, I need to do a little bit of money money moves for that. This is... I, I'll get the Ford Raptor because I don't really have that many trucks. So this would this be pretty clean. Let me just have a little look around it. It's pretty nice. Not okay, bad at yeah, all. Well, whenever you're ready, just come find me. Sure. Uh, is it okay if I start her up? Just, you know, check check how she runs? Uh, yeah, the handbrake should be on. Yeah, yeah, I'm the planned driver anyway. I'm just gonna see. Let's get inside. I'm pretty sure this sounds amazing. Let's listen. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. That sounds good. <laughs> she sounds good. Oh, she sounds real good. Yeah, let me get this. 59k. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give you 59k. It looks pretty clean truck. Okay, let's just uh, go up to one of the offices, fill the paperwork. Oh, know? sure thing, dude. Big place you got here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I think it's a little too big. I think we're gonna downsize. Oh, I see. We're going to the office, baby. This is this is pretty clean. We're getting the Ford, which is nice. I think I, I do like the 918. I just didn't have the money for it, so I'm gonna take a seat down here. 
Okay, sir. So, uh, here's the, uh, here's the contract. Uh-huh. Uh, you just gotta sign that and send over the 59k, and I'll give you the keys, and you're set to go. Sure, you taking that truck off rolling by any chance? She's gotta be good, right? Uh, I, I did go to an off-road meet with it once. It's pretty nice. Alright, alright. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Dave, go 59,000. Boom, baby. Alright, there you go, my friend. 59,000. Yep, I, I got it. So, uh, uh, here are the keys. You want me to take the handbrake off for you? Or you got it? Uh, I don't mind. I'm fine. Whoa, is that gold on your desk in front of me? Damn. Flexing like that, huh? That was fake. Yep, yep. It's real gold bars right, there, eh? Might be real. Jesus. Uh, each purchase of a car comes with a, a bottle of vodka, if you would like to take Oh, it. okay. Underage drinking here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm old. Uh, what's the most expensive one? I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that along with the blue cap right there. The one blue cap? All right. I'll, I guess I'll take that, dude. Promoting drink and driving. That's all I like. This is a good dealership right here. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yep, so it's, it's all yours. Just uh, don't scratch it on your way out. I'll I'll try not to, dude. It's a big truck, so hopefully we won't get any scratches. Look at this place, though, dude. They got cameras up here. This would be a hard place to rob. Maybe mine and Trey's next next job. This place is big. Look at this. Big, 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 big place. Got some nice cars here and some money. Maybe we need to do some robberies here. Okay, okay we're going to see what we can do here. All right, thank you for the deal, buddy. Appreciate it. Take care. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome back anytime. Take it easy. They didn't give me a lot of fuel. 20% fuel. Yeah, that's not going to get me very far. I'm going to have to go to the Sandy Fuel Station right out of the bat. This thing is really sweet. Uh, we, we, it's, it's not the quickest of things, of, you know, but it sounds nice. It's got a roll cage. I think we need to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of tuning on this thing. We'll get, get some ECU upgrades and stuff and get a little bit more juice out of it. And, and she should do really well here. But we need some fuel first, right? We need we need to get some fuel, fill her up. I kind of like this. It sounds really good. This has got to be the V8 version, right? The V6 version wouldn't sound nearly as good as this one does. So uh, I think I've screwed up here a little bit, guys. Uh, no, wait. Actually, shortcut. No, I'm fine. We good. We good. We good. I was a little sketchy there for a second, but we're fine. Here we go. Nice. This is technically my second Ford Raptor, right? Because we have the... We have the Pandem Ford Raptor, and this is my second one, so, you know. Yeah, I guess that's, uh, that, that's a thing. But I think the Pandem one does look a little bit sweeter, so... We're gonna fill her up a little bit here and, uh... Get some juice in her. Alrighty, Poo Baby, we have a refilled... Whoa, I got a bit of a... Did I do that? It's like... Bent up there a little bit, never mind. Maybe I hit that or something on a jump. I don't know about this red color. I think we might change that. Not the biggest fan of the red. But apart from that, look at that. Suspension's pretty good. Turning's not bad either. We do have some dunes over here. Some sand dunes. So I'm thinking, let's try these out a little bit here. Oh, God. Oh, dear. That's probably not going to be good for the front of the car. It's okay. It's got one of those protection bar things that we probably just can... Oh, wow. This is... Oof, okay, okay. At least I'm pretty safe. She rolls fine. Maybe I'm hitting these at a wrong angle or something. We're not doing that great here. We're not doing very hot at the moment. I think we need some upgrades. That's what this needs. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this... Golly. Okay, there we go. Not a bad jump. Not a... Oh, God. Oh, okay. This... Uh, yeah. This thing needs some work. <laughs> this thing needs a lot of work still. Okay, we kind of messed up the front a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I like the truck. But I don't know if she's going to be staying in the, uh, you know, car collection, so to speak. Okay, I'm going to try to hit this and see if we can climb up here. We're going to slow down a little bit here. I don't want to, like, wreck. Okay, that was pretty easy. No, no, no issue there. we got to see how well this thing, like, you know, tackles, tackles the uh, terrain. Because I guess that's that's what it's made for more, right? This is pretty sketchy here, but we might we should be able to do this fine. Easy, not too bad at all. And let's try to just go up here. We can see how this works. Okay. Oh wow. It did really well. Maybe this thing's like a hidden freaking uh, what's the word for it? Hill climb monster or something. We kind of need to find, like, a little bit more steeper... 
Oh, okay, we're not going down that way now. It's a little dangerous. I was looking at that mountain over there. See if we can do anything there. Now, this will be a highly illegal maneuver here, so we're going to have to be pretty quick about this. But if we go down here, we should be able to do it. There you go. Nice and easy. No issue there. And yeah, let's try to go a little... Wait, actually, we can't even... Wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh, God, I didn't think this through. This, this is so dangerous. Here we go. We can take a lift up here at the bar. Oh, God, sorry. Right up here. I guess we'll just go right up here if we can, right? Oh, that's... Okay, wait, no. Oh, hey. Okay. Okay, protection's pretty good. Even if we do roll, she's pretty sweet. Let's see if we go up here. Oh, damn, this thing's pretty good. Come on. Come on. Okay, not quite. That was a really steep... Thing. That's like a 70% or something. Maybe even higher. 70% incline, probably. Yeah, That that's pretty gnarly. This thing was going up it. Oh, dude, it's actually really good. Especially if you've got a little bit of... Okay. I spoke too soon, maybe? Maybe I spoke too soon. We've got to get a little bit of a run up here. We'll go at an angle up here. She's doing kind of well. I guess it'd be a good car for a job or something, you know? Like a like a bank job or something. And then we just got to... We just got to use the uh, terrain. Right? We're just going to use this to our advantage. If we go up off road in, like if a helicopter follows us, we'll be a bit shitty. But this could be good for a... Another one of those bank jobs or something. This thing is doing pretty well. And we climb to the top. That's... This thing's actually not that bad. I'm impressed. I'm pleasantly impressed with how good this thing is. Not very graceful when you're going down, though. Oh, I am wrecking the front of this thing. Yeah, the, the suspension seems kind of stiff. It's not very good for the rest of the car. Whenever you do a little bit of a jump or something, it... <gasps> <sighs> Landed it. We're okay, because there's a roll cage in here, mother truckers. We're, we're totally fine. Joke's on you. Just tested now to see the durability of this thing, and she passed. So we can definitely use this for a job. Uh oh I think she just died. That's not good. Okay, here we go. Second life. Okay, we're going to get this thing home. Because we're super close to my home here, so it's just across that mountain there. We're going to follow this dirt track here and go all the way around, because I don't want to... I don't want to get stranded and then I have to call a tow or something. So, boys and girls, let me know what you think about my Ford Raptor. We're definitely going to save this, actually, because this would be really good as, a, like, an escape vehicle for me and Trey to use as, like, you know, when, when we're going off-roading or something. Like, stash it somewhere, go off-roading. This thing's really good. I think that, that would be the actual use for it. It's not very fast, so we're not going to, you know, outrun anybody in a race. But I'll tell you what, if we're doing a, a nice little, you know off-roading thing we can definitely use it to our advantage so uh, maybe i'll save it for a little bit so thanks for watching guys thank you for joining and i think she just died again and i might be just i guess i guess i'm walking home we're gonna go get the trailer uh, i'm gonna lock the car here leave her here and uh we're gonna go get the trailer and trailer her home because <laughs> i destroyed it like everything i drive i'll see you next time guys take it easy bye Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here and click the post notifications on so you don't miss out on the next videos. Go check out some of these other episodes.